an expectant, pregnant, lady named Natalia is shown as the movie starts. Then it's time for him to be exposed to his expectancy. Natalia's mother, Alina, is also present at the time. Natalia's condition is starting to bother her. And her mother immediately takes her to the hospital. Due to the late hour, most doctors are not present. But there is a nurse who treats her and Natalia gives birth to a baby. But when they see the baby, they are all taken aback and concerned. Because everything I saw was unbelievable. Because the baby starts flying in the air. Natalia is also left surprised. And she says to her mother that an angel child has been bred in their house. Being wise and experienced, Natalia's mother understands that he is not normal. And it is true because that baby comes without gravity. They are unprotected people so they leave the hospital. While the nurse tells them, it is not the time of their discharge. But they come to their house ignoring her. Natalia's mother asks her a strange question coming into the house. She asks that you remember the child's guardian. Then her mother tells that this child is not normal so we have to keep it a secret. And we can face a lot of difficulties if someone knows about it. Then they choose a child's name which is Oscar. And Oscar was in reality an uncommon child. Because his fostering was not easy. He used to stick with the ceiling for a long time as they left him alone. His grandmother makes different straps for him to keep the child on the ground. They also make the ceiling pulpy and feathery so the child may not get hurt. Because they had fear as they left him outside alone, he would go to space flying in the air. So they are very careful about the Oscars. His mother and grandmother take care of him a lot. Oscar starts growing with the passage of time. But he remains in the house. His grandmother does not allow him to go outside. He used to watch cartoons of Superman living at home. He also used to imagine as a superhero. Then Oscar asks his mother Natalia many times why do they not allow him to go outside? But they ignore it. Oscar sees the people through the window including the kids like him who were going to school. And he used to look at the playing kids with longing eyes, longing for an independent life. He thinks he will perhaps be in prison here forever. Then one day, Oscar tries to escape through the window, irritated by the confinement of the house. But his grandmother is furious seeing him. Observing all action, grandmother seals all windows. And she guides Oscar that he will never go outside from the house like the school going kids. And he will read living at home. Hearing it, Oscar's mother got angry. And she says, how much time will keep him in imprisonment? He will go outside at one time. Then Oscar's mother brings a jacket for him, keeping the two stones in its pockets. So that he may no fly. She takes Oscar outside, ignoring her mother. Moreover, she asks her to not tell the secret to anyone like Superman otherwise he will not be a Superman. Once Oscar goes with his mother purchasement of goods and collides with a child girl. The girl's name is Agatha. Agatha's goods fell down from her hand. She shouts at Oscar handing over him two water bottles. She says, it is your punishment to leave these bottles at my house. But Oscar refuses it. But Oscar agrees on the insistence of Agatha and he goes with that child girl without telling his mother. Now two heavy bottles are in the hands of Oscar and stones are also in his pockets. As a result, he is feeling slightly overweight. So he drops the two stones out of his pocket. His friendship is developed with Agatha now. Reaching her home, Agatha asks for the water bottles. But Oscar refuses to return the water boots. Because he knows that he will start flying in the air if bottles are returned. Agatha is immature so she snatches the water bottles from Oscar. As she takes water bottles from Oscar, he starts flying in the air. That place is bound to its surroundings so Oscar does not fly too high. Agatha is left astonished seeing it and calls her Superman while shouting. Oscar asks for help from her. Hearing it, Agatha immediately goes into her house, and brings her pink bag filled with stones. It was a good idea for them to put these stones in his pocket. Their plan is successful and Oscar descends. Then they become bosom friends. Then Oscar says to Agatha, promise me. You will keep it secret. On the other side, mother and grandmother are worried because of Oscar's disappearance. They search him enough. And they think it is he has flown in the air. His mother finds the stones fallen on the ground which she has put in his pocket. Then Oscar returns to the house with a given bag of Agatha and tells about Agatha to his mother. Then his mother asks, have you told your secret to her somewhere? But he tells a lie saying that I didn't tell. Then Oscar and Agatha continued to meet with each other for many days. Then one day Oscar's mother comes to know that Agatha is aware of this secret. His mother forbids him from meeting Agatha after that day. Agatha used to come to Oscar's house but is returned back at the doorstep by Natalia. Then they become suspicious in the eyes of the people in their surroundings. Because they were feeling as Oscar's mother and grandmother mistreated him. So they don't allow him to come outside. And he also does not go to school. 
They report it to the police about it and the police arrive at their house the next day warning them to send Oscar to school. And they had to send Oscar to school under pressure. Then Oscar's mother goes to school with him. They are sure that Oscar cannot lead a normal life. Their eyes are filled with tears as they bring Oscar. Her mother understands everything so decides to leave the house. Then they begin to live at a place far away from their house. Many years have passed and Oscar has also grown young. His mother has grown old while grandmother is on more. And Oscar still has that bag given to Agatha. He never separated that bag from him. Even though he used to sleep taking this bag with him, his way of living was still the same eleven today, spending life at home. His life is spent in secrecy. Oscar and his mother used to care for each other. Oscar, bored from his life, was under frustration hiding this secret. Then he thinks that in a short time, he will be famous throughout the world like the ideal Superman if the world knows about him. And many people will write books about him. But his mother does not desire such. But his mother explains, it will not happen. She thinks of losing him if the world knows of this secret for the sake of her mother, he exhibits patience. But one day, he rushes out of the house without telling his mother. Then he visits a magic show to display his first time where the talents of the people are revealed. This show touches the peak at night. And his mother also views that show. Oscar's mother is helpless in this matter. Many people had seen him on TV making him well known. He meets a man named David the next day. He is in fact an agent. He guarantees Oscar that he can support him in becoming well known. We will arrange a crowd puller that will make you famous. He gives him a big house for his residence by signing a contract agreement. Oscar wanted to be famous. Going to a big show, he shows his performance. Oscar became a well-known personality too soon. And afterward, he is named the man without gravity. Those people have enjoyed their work earning a lot of money. But one day Oscar feels that his childhood dream is to be a superhero, in fact he is not a superhero. He has become just a puppet which is used by the people for their amusement. Sometimes he was called in magic shows and sometimes in media events. He began to dislike it with the passage of time. Although, many books are written about him. And many magazines are printed. And documentaries are made showing the bad image of his mother and grandmother and it is disliked by Oscar. Then there is the last show where he is costumed as an angel which he hates. He says, I am not an angel. He begins to say ill to people in the show getting angry. Then he says to his mother that he has decided to leave all these things. He tells his agent, enough. I didn't want to be famous and my work was till this time. He will not work more. His agent explains, you cannot leave it as such. But Oscar is irritated by all these. He asks him to tell people, the man without gravity has passed away or flown in the air. He says goodbye to his mother, because he wants to live a separate life. In the coming days, it will be revealed that the man without gravity has died. Many people talk differently about him. Oscar's mother starts living alone, and many journalists continue their visit to their house to get information about Oscar but she never tells them anything. After many years, Oscar's mother also died. But Oscar was still alive. He was leading his life in a different way. He had a long beard and used to sit in a wheelchair in order to hide his secret from the world. He changed his identity doing a job in a hotel as a receptionist. He was treated nicely by everyone. One day, his friend Agda meets him. She recognizes him because of the pink bag which was still with Oscar Evan today. Which she had given him in childhood and he remained on the ground due to this bag not getting married. They feel happy meeting with each other. But Agata was unsatisfied with her life, because her purpose was only to earn money so he was conscious. He used to visit with many lads in that hotel where Oscar was on job. Oscar feels very bad seeing her. Oscar many times shares his feelings with Agatha. She has to change so ignores his wording. It is declared on it that Oscar had still feelings for her. Was our reason of Agata's changing of life. And Oscar also left her too. They eventually come to terms with each other and marry and they begin to share the same childhood home. And the movie's completes here.